Hey guys, this is Nick here and you are watching my course on parallel programming in Python. So till now we have understood what is parallel programming and what is multiprocessing and how can you implement multiprocessing in Python the most in the most basic way, right? And now we are just going to take a look at some aspects related to multiprocessing in Python. So one of the most important aspects related to multiprocessing is how do you share the data between the processes? So you have multiple child processes. So we, we just want to see if um, child process and the parent process can talk to each other or not. Let us try to first focus on that, right? So one of the most important properties of the child processes that you create using the multiprocessing module is that they run independently and they have their own memory space. So by, by meaning that they have their own memory space, we mean that the child process uh, will have some memory space of its own and any variable that it tries to create or change will be changed in its own memory space not in the memory space of its parent okay so let us try to understand this particular thing this particular concept by taking example so let's say i have imported the multiprocessing module and i created an empty list called result and here i have a function called square underscore list which squares the elements of a given list and appends them to my global result list okay so here, as you can see here, it is doing result dot append num into num. So each num in my list is squared and appended to my result list. And finally, I print the result. So this is my function, a very basic function. And I have my list one, two, three, four here. And I also do p1 is equal to multiprocessing dot process. I set the target as the square list. And in the arguments, I pass this particular my list. Okay. So this is the thing that I have right now and let me just um, execute this process, this child process. So look at that, I get the result as 14916. So according to my child process, the value of the global result list is now 14916. But let us try to see, print. let us try to print result. Look at that, that is still empty. So what is happening here? My result list, according to my main process, my parent process is still empty. Whereas according to the child process, the result list has some content, right? So what it means is simply is that both my um, different processes have different memory spaces. So we can understand it by using this particular diagram in which I have the process one, which is my main program, where initially I have empty result list. And when I create a child process, it also have result list empty initially and then square list function is executed over it and the result list becomes like this. But since it is in this memory space, the changes are not um, uh, visible in this particular memory space, right? So in this way, this whole thing is working here. And now in the next video, we're going to see the solutions which help us get the value of any changes that we make to our global variable back in our parent process. That is what we are going to see from the next video. So this takes us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching.